Good, good. We really appreciate that going on, man. Um, you know, I, I I always like having more oath keepers that that have my back, whether they're active, retired, vets, whatever the case is, man. Um, is this, you know, this keep spreading the word here. of what we are. Go ahead. All right. Well, this gentleman here, what I am is an 07 SOT armor, and I'm interconnected with law enforcement, military, and private collectors. Um, and we're all watching very closely. We don't want anything to get out of hand, but we got your back. Uh, also connected with um, National Guard, a few other things. And, uh, you know, this is an asymmetrical situation that we have to attain because any time you organize, a lot of times you get infiltrated. This has my, been my experience. So watch your six on provocateurs or anybody getting a little uh, mouthy, you know, because this has gone nationwide. And, uh, wow. Finally, finally. Um, so you guys are doing a fantastic job, and just know that what boots you have on the ground there are a token. Uh, let me ask you this, sir, if you don't mind. Uh, obviously, you're representing uh, Idaho Oath Keepers. Um, yes. You know, you're a little bit closer than, than some other people are, and, uh, you know, you're going to be able to be a, a wayfarer, if, if possible, uh, for communication since you're a... Uh, an oath keeper, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to safely assume that I can count on you the best I can um, based on what you've stated just in a few moments. Uh, I'm going to add you to comms 13. Uh, we've got over a dozen people now that are uh, in a network of communicators and leaders, and uh, if, if you don't mind, I'd like to put you under for... Uh, yes, and I'm, I'm, getting some, uh, I'm not really technically uh, advanced, but you have my number. Anytime, yeah. and, and I don't know how this is how this is going to work, but I do need to kind of stay in the communications chain. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of people here that have businesses and different things like that. Uh, that is, and uh, we've sent a few people down there, and I also have connections in Arizona as well, and their their boots are on the ground as we speak. Um, like I said, asymmetric uh, blending in is the best mode of and uh, uh, please, by all means, keep me in the loop so that I can know what to do. And um, Anyways. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be adding a variety of numbers. May I have your first name, if you don't mind, again? My first name is Michael. My last name is Emery. Uh, I go by M. Gun Doc. I'm well known in this area for uh, uh, building firearms for uh, uh, quite a few different dealers and things of that nature. Um, so, anyways. How did you uh, find out about this call, if you don't mind me asking, bro? Well, I've been searching the Internet. My wife is very good at these things, and I've been trying to keep a, a close ear to the ground on this. Uh, I've talked to a good friend of mine in uh, Arizona that's kind of connected to some ranchers and militia. Uh, and the military... Is basically every citizen. I know you, you know me, but I don't know everybody you know, and same, same vice versa. That's how we've got it established here in Boise, because of infiltration. Now, you got little Lightfoots out here, uh, a little connected with them, and uh, I don't know personally what they're contributing right now. I know that a few of them are probably heading that way, but I'm also connected with a lot of combat veterans, current and uh, former. So uh, ten four man, it's good to know that these guys are paying attention too, man. Uh, whatever you can do to get some more of those guys on board in about twelve hours is going to be huge. I'm gonna uh, with eight minutes to go, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next caller unless you wanted to wrap that up, brother. Uh, go ahead, go to the next caller. I just want you to know that you're not alone. And I, I really appreciate that, man. And keep me in the loop if you could. If there's anything y'all need, you can, you spread my number and have someone call me or whatever it takes. Okay. You got it. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Uh, if you have to call in later, I'd like you to refer to comms 13. That's uh, your own private code to get ahead of the uh, the rest of the group. I'm watching for you, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, I got uh, two more callers that are on hold right now. Uh, sorry, three more callers. So I'm going to move on to the next guy, and uh, I'm going to take you out of the queue here. Thanks for chiming in, 1450. All right, um, eeny, meeny, miny, I'm going to go in the order it was received. Six, seven, three, you're on. 
Hey, good morning. Sorry, if you my want to speak is, up, five, there you go, 5673. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Michael Toops from Louisiana, and I want to thank you guys for what y'all are doing. I'm with uh, Patriots Ride uh, Radio Station PNN with Zeta Andrews. I'm located okay. in Louisiana, and she's located in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, listen, we uh, wanted to extend our help to you here. Uh, we broadcast live every day, and uh, we go on at uh, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 Central. Uh, is there anything that we can do or as a contact, direct contact to, uh, you know, direct people to where they need to go and, and pass them uh, some valid information on? Yeah, actually, you're in another FEMA region, sir. You're southeast FEMA region, central, and uh, I am trying to contact someone that uh, used to have some stands out there in your vicinity. Um, are you familiar with the name Drew Rayner by chance? No, sir, but uh, you give me the information, I'll try to get a hold of him. Uh, um, you know, he's a very republic-minded individual. Uh, he was very uh, influential in a lot of, uh, the, you know, the southern states as far as Second Amendment groups go, and uh, he's a resource that I'm trying to contact right now. Uh, I consider him a friend and an ally in the situation. And uh, I can definitely you use uh, Drew as in Andrew, but no Ann, just Drew. Okay. Rainer, R A Y. R A. Um, that I'm trying to contact. Uh, he's Mississippi, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's got a lot of influence in Louisiana as well. Okay. And uh, I'm just hoping if anybody chimes in through your network at all, it can help that guy on this uh, in about 12 hours. Um, I've got three more people in the queue, sir. Uh, I, I totally appreciate Louisiana chiming in. As a matter of fact, I'm jotting down your information. Uh, I don't know you from Adam, sir, but uh, I can't say you sound like an honest guy that's trying to do the right thing. Uh, if you don't mind, um, we're going to need some representation in the future, uh, possibly from, you know, your state and surrounding. But uh, as of right now, uh, I'm going to mark you down as number 14 on the comms line for your region. Um, okay. If you can remember that, use that uh, in the future to say, hey, I'm the guy from Louisiana, number 14. You, you know, you put on comms out there. If you got anything on Drew, that'd be great. If not, I just also need to kind of let you put out some feelers for your locale uh, and for yeah. your region. You know, if you hear about, uh, you know, unruly movement, blue helmets, shots fired, things of that nature, if uh, you've got the capability to monitor any of the emergency channels out that way, uh, a lot of people are using scanner radio as an application on their uh, iPhones it's called scanner radio. You can actually look up by, uh, you know, uh, state, city, county, things of that nature. So just uh, a lot of people need to kind of keep their eyes peeled in their region, see if they're getting extra movement. You know, if anybody wants to chime in to uh, Ground Zero's uh, scanners as well, we should be listening for uh, plates being read over the uh, over the lines because that's who they're pulling over right now. Um, okay. If you don't, if you don't mind, uh, five six seven three. Uh, can I call you, Mike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah. All right, Mike. Uh, I'm Two, putting you down again. Is uh, comes uh, actually your comms fourteen now, so. Right. You utilize that when you call back, see if you can give me any updates from Louisiana, man. You know, we're we're going to be keeping this going as long as possible. I, I'm shutting it down in four minutes, so if you don't mind, I'm going to move on to the, the no, next two no people problem. that have been waiting no. patiently. No problem. Um, in the, peace out. Keep us updated, man. Keep spreading the word and, uh, you know, keep praying that this, uh, all you know, the dust settles nicely and, uh, you know, not one shot fired and not one drop of blood, if you know what I mean. Oh, hey, amen. I'm with you all the way on that. That sounds good, and, uh, yeah, we'll do what we can, and uh, we'll be broadcasting tonight at about 7 for about a couple hours in Central Time, so. Uh, All right, 10 for uh, Awesome, I appreciate you, man. I'm moving on to uh, 7102. 7102, it's a female, I believe. You're in the next car. Hi, Brian. My name's Catherine. I'm on uh, the News Ninja team with Wayne Dupree, and um, I'm out here in Texas. And I came in on this call about uh, about 45 minutes ago. So what I would like to know or to have is your contact information so that I can tweet it and Facebook it and that we can connect. My husband and I are 
seriously thinking about going to Nevada. My husband is a peace officer. Um, what do you recommend? Do you recommend that we go? I, I already heard, you know, don't go locked and loaded. Uh, what do you recommend that we do? And when you get the information for donations, uh, like the uh, second uh, sons of the second man was asking, would you give me that information too so I can tweet and Facebook all that to get the word spread? Just whatever I can do to help, I'm here to help you. And I she is definitely pre- appreciate that. And uh, that's Wayne chiming in right now, Catherine. Hey, Wayne. Yes. <laughs> but believe me, Catherine, Catherine and Alicia, who um, both you have heard from my team, they are solid people that you can count on. So um, whatever information you can get out before you get ready to get off, um, let them know and let everybody know. And I, and I think you're going to be back on this number in about 12 hours, correct? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, we're getting closer to 11 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be the same code? Uh, everything should be exactly the same. Uh, dialing number 559-726-1300. And uh, the code that you guys have been using is 276-125. Um, yeah. And then you can chime in uh, until further notice. Uh, people are watching uh, me very closely on Facebook right now. I've uh, surpassed How do I well find over 5,000. I'm sorry. I, I didn't get your contact information for Facebook. How do I find you? Sure. No problem. Uh, first name, Brian, B-R-Y-A-N. And if you actually put in a space and then uh, all one word, free the people, F-R-E-E-T-H-E-P-E-O-P-L-E. Um, okay, I should be the first guy that pops up. I've got a sarcastic profile picks up right now, but it kind of goes hand in hand with what we're doing right now. Okay, and are you on Twitter? Uh, negative, but we uh, okay. do have a couple people that are uh, tagging me in under the hashtag Oath Before Orders. Um, some things have been rebroadcasted there. Feel free to put this number up there, and more people will hopefully chime in on that uh, hashtag Oath Before Orders. Um, other people, if they have live footage or uh, video or anything timestamped that's verifiable, uh, Intel, please feel free to use that as the Twitter hashtag and uh, post it up with your picture or video too. Again, uh, pound sign, oath before orders. I don't tweet. I don't even know how that works. Um, I've got you know too many other things going on, but I've got a couple people that have been helping me out, and they're uh, trying to attach us in this conversation and myself directly to whatever photos are up right now. I haven't had time to check that. Catherine, okay. I, um, I sent you his Facebook uh, link. He is tapped out on Friends right now, so you can just uh, click on the follow. And, uh, I got it. I see that it popped up. Okay. And if you get any more information on where we can donate, uh, just put you know let us know, and I'll tweet it and Facebook it and get it out there for you and I'll be back on tonight and Wayne it's good to hear from you and if we head to Nevada I'll let you know yeah please let me know all right thanks for everything Brian yep thank hey, you uh, Catherine I just actually added you to uh, uh, the crown funding list uh, once we get that established uh, you're going to be the third person I get a hold of or someone that's uh, been assigned that as a task will begin to hold you okay perfect anything I can do to help thanks a bunch uh, and you have my before interest. you do go, uh, Wayne, are you in direct contact with her? Yes. Yes, I am. All right. It, it seems like you've got a lot of people that are uh, falling in the line under this uh, crowdfunding uh, issue, um, uh, along with what you've you know supplied so far. If you've known, you know, any of those people want to go ahead and just take a take charge, uh, you know, it sounds you know authoritative, but a command type position and. Uh, you know, put some ideas forth that, that are going to work for uh, some sort of crowdfunding. We just need to, um, you know, see how many people are really on board, what's the potentiality, and uh, I'll go ahead and get something started up um, once we get, you know, maybe yeah, I'll talk five, five yeah. or six people that know what they're doing with that, okay? Okay, yep. All right, um, I got another wireless caller, 7643. You chimed in earlier. I recognize the number. I'm going to go ahead and unmute you. Go ahead, 7643. Hey, Brian, just one last thing here. Um, I, I noticed nobody's talked about where they're taking the cattle that they have confiscated. 
Um, would that be? Uh, yeah, I got the information of where the cattle are being taken. If if anybody wants to know where that is, so they can maybe recoup some of their cattle. Sure. Let, let's would that be something that would interest I, anybody? Yeah, let's compare notes. What I've got is there was a flyby um, that happened yesterday morning that verified that there was around 500 cattle left on this ranch. Um, uh, Bureau of Land Management has uh, confiscated, or however you want to put that up to 350 of these uh, cattle, and uh, they're down to 150 or less approximately uh, as far as what's left on and what is gone. A good portion of them have already been put up on auction. Um, right. Cross I got the – do you have the auction yard address, phone number, anything like that? Negative, do you? Yes, I do. In fact, it's – I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's E-U-C-L-I-D, stockyard. Euclid, Euclid stockyard. Yep, and that's uh, 14185 Euclid Avenue, Ontario, California, 91762. Yes, but if the phone number from, sorry. from PETA, if somebody's online from PETA, if you could go ahead and harass the shit out of these people for me, um, if you could right. <laughs> give, give that information again. <laughs> sorry to plug PETA right now, but for for some reason, they just came to mind that they might actually be useful for something uh, if they went and harassed some of those guys that are, uh, you know, hurt, hurting uh, these cattle right now. Can you get that information again? I'm going to jot it down. Sure. It's uh, Euclid Stockyards Incorporated. Tell me when sure. you're on. Okay, that's 14185 Euclid Avenue. That's in Ontario, California. 91762 is the zip. And I got the phone number here. That's a 909-597-4818. I'm going to verify 909-597-4818. Correct. I appreciate that, sir. And you're absolutely and correct about Peter. You know, I'm, I I grew up near ranches. You cannot run these cattle with helicopters. You cannot harass them. They get their adrenaline build up. That's not healthy for them. It's damaging right. them, and then it's killing them. And then you know the the whole backhoe thing was started that right to begin with, with the with the BM BLM people, was they just wanted answers what they were doing with the backhoes, and they're suspected that they're sitting out there burying the dead cattle right where they died with backhoes, which is illegal. I can't believe I haven't read, read nothing on PETA about this yet. All right, you know, and I don't, I don't mean to really push on PETA. You know, I, I respect all living things, and, you know, I got to admit, you know, being, uh, you know, a majority of Native American, uh, you know, on the inside and in blood, that, uh, you know, it's, it's wrong, you know, that we, we kind of don't have any real inkling of another life here we are saying oh it's so wrong that this person got tased when we don't really even consider anything outside of the uh, the uh, human race and how they're treated and how their lives are you know i know a lot of people feel well they don't have opposable thumbs they're not uh intelligent creatures etc cetera, etc cetera. but uh you know just kind of throwing that out there i'm not going to get into a whole peter situation i'm definitely not a tree hugger man but uh you know being gotcha. the american we, res we we respect what we kill and and most hunters get that and, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, some people try to kind of take that to heart. You know, the stuff doesn't grow on trees when it ends up packaged on your, uh, you know, your friendly butcher shelves. And, uh, you know, the, the, these, these meats go through a lot of uh, torturous, uh, frightening processes that, uh, you know, in my eyes, you are what you eat. And if you're eating tortured meat, you know, there's a lot of bad, uh, bad juju in there. And, uh, you know, we can do that on a daily basis. And, uh, you know, I've always been more of a, you know, a free range or, uh, you know, uh, a venison, you know, preferably, you know, organic. Yeah, exactly. So um, I've got I'm one listening. last caller and I'm going to have to start wrapping this up. Is there anything you wanted to add? 7643 before I cut you loose. Uh, just one thing. I share that. I share that Native American blood with you. My great, great grandma died at Wounded Knee. I'm not, not quite full as much blood as you, but I share that with you, brother. Uh, I really appreciate that, man. You know, we all bleed red inside, man. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that need to put in there. That's why I kind of, I, I get, uh, 
along with all kinds of people, man. But I, I take other respect to a lot of minorities out there. You know, to, to me, Mexicans are Incas, Mayans, and, and, and Aztec warriors, and now we're shutting them out from something that they were freely allowed to roam on before any white people got here. And then you've got, you know, African Americans, which, you know, they fought for this country under slavery just as Native Americans did. Um, and, you know, sometimes they've even fought each other, but I, you know, can completely res- respect a lot of different minorities, uh, you know, a lot more than I can, uh, you know, some, some people that are telling other people, go back to your country. It's just, uh, here I am shaking my head, you know. Um, anyways, yeah. I'm going to move on to the next caller, and uh, I really appreciate your, appreciate your input, man. You go ahead and chime in. We're going to try to key in in uh, about 11 hours from right now. So uh, we will be back on the conversation. Thanks, Brian. And, uh, Spread the hell out of the word, man, like wildfire. That's what we're asking. And uh, you got any boots on the ground, man, just uh, refer them back to the uh, the playback numbers, uh, 559-726-1399. And the uh, audio key is pound 9676. And then pound again to hear the uh, last segment, which also gives the segment prior, which also gives the segment prior. But uh, I'm going to move on to this uh, last wireless caller, and uh, i got to hit the hey. Um, All right. Here we go. Uh, 5827, you're the last one in the queue. Make it good. Yeah, you said something earlier about wondering what could possibly be under that land. And on uh, Free Lieutenant uh, Clint Lawrence, it says here that it was revealed to Commander Hunt of the California State Militia that from someone uh, from a source inside the FBI that the true motivation behind this incident is a natural gas line, a large deposit of natural gas running underneath the ranch. I don't know. I mean, yeah. that's not been confirmed, of course, but this is a a pretty popular military. This man's doing 20 years in living work for shooting somebody over overseas. He was at war, and he killed somebody protecting his men, and he went to living work. No problem. Uh, no problem at all. In, in addition to what you just said, uh, there's, uh, we actually kind of covered shortly a couple different times throughout the last few phone calls uh, in different segments, but just basically, yeah, you are, uh, as far as we can tell, correct. Um, this seems a lot more than tortoises and cows. Um, you know, there's a, a real estate agent that's been doing some, uh, you know, real estate in the vicinity, and they can admit for quite some time that uh, foreign hands are trying to get their hands on this land. Um, what I'm going to guess is, uh, you know, somebody was able to do some detection and found that this is a prime, you know, real estate, and uh, someone up top, trying to make it hard for them because this guy doesn't want to sell. Uh, it really comes down to a whole lot more than uh, where their cattle grazes. There's uh, fresh water, there's fresh oil, there's uh, minerals, precious uh, precious uh, ores and minerals, so to speak. And, uh, yeah, it, it, that, that's come up a few times, and I would have to agree with you at this point. This is a lot more than tortoises and cows. And uh, someone from up top is kind of calling some shots and uh, really wants this land no matter how how they go about it. Um, we do have confirmation that there are other sites that similar things have recently occurred and or may be occurring uh, at this moment. And uh, we hope that uh, as long as thing, everything remains peaceful on this end, if we can get enough uh, of the de facto to go ahead and settle down and, uh, you know, hopefully find some sort of, uh, you know, catch-22 slash peaceful standoff. Um, you know, that's what everybody seems to want to shoot for. Right now, there's a couple of hotheads that would want different, but uh, you know, I, I think anybody logically would want uh, them to stand down and uh, go home, and we all live another day. And uh, you know, there is no bloodshed or shots fired. I yeah, uh, I got another. Yeah, doing a good job at, at staying peaceful, but those people keep posting that on what that man said about Utah, and they better have their funeral arrangements. Man, that's that's going viral, and it's pissing people off. But I hope that it does continue to be peaceful. Um, as stated earlier, this gentleman that's been saying that about Utah, um, I believe he was a delegate of some sort, uh, politician that was warning people from Utah not to come out to uh, Nevada. And uh, I think that person needs his head checked. And if anybody else is out there, um, you know, in that region that can uh, start putting through the paperwork to put a, a, a lien on this guy's federal bond of $250,000, um, as soon as he steps outside of his boundaries, the first man that goes down, um, we need to make sure that this cat's arrested because he's the one calling for it. You know, that's not only uh, libel and slander, but uh, enticing violence, you know, kidnapping, murder, extortion, and a variety of other things. And that's $250,000 per offense. And uh, wow. if he keeps speaking up, he needs to be pulled out of office. As soon as you file 
lean on his bond with uh, his county. He's got about 30 days. Either he has to come up with 20% of that lien or he's done and he needs to retire and he cannot hold that office ever again. So I'm, I'm just going to leave that out for people to work on um, that are just chiming in. I've got one more person. You know, I'm trying to be fair here. I should have gone to bed hours ago, but uh, I've got one more hours person ago. that just just fell in the queue, man. Um, I appreciate you awesome, chiming in. Anything, anything you want to wrap up with? No, just God bless and get some sleep. Yeah, I heard that. All right, uh, 0610, you're on. Hi, right, brother. It's me from Cook County. I just want to say good night, and you're a damn trooper, man. Been with you all night. It's been a hell of a joy, right? How long have you been on board, man? Ah, oh, shit. I started work at, well, I got on about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, somewhere on there, <coughs> I think. I don't even remember what time it was. But, uh, yeah, we've been trucking with you all night, and me and a couple other buddies. So... <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm trying to keep it lighthearted, man, and, uh, you know, I'm trying to have people keep their senses and capabilities here and, you know, make other things happen. Uh, you know, I'm on the phone a lot for what I do for work, and, uh, you know, I'm just kind of utilizing my skills. I just happen to fall in the right place at the right time. Again, this just started off, as you know, uh, a simple conference call between pals that are concerned, and uh, we yeah. decided to open up this call and put out word, and it's just been spreading like wildfire, man. So uh, uh, are you by chance in touch with your uh, local Second Amendment group, sir? Uh, he already gave me the group, and I already got in touch with him. Uh, I believe it was uh, Charlie, I believe. Was, or okay. Or two uh, yeah. All right, 10-4, um, I, and I appreciate you doing that. You know, when the time comes and, uh, you, you know, you get past the meet and greets, I want you to go ahead and uh, get in contact with uh, Old Wolf. He's been around that group for a while. Um, Old Wolf? Yeah. People know Old who Wolf. you're talking about. Just look for Wolf. That's all you really need to say. But uh, when that time comes, uh, you know, let them know I sent you, all right? Oh, yeah, definitely. We'll do. We'll be with you tonight, too. All right, 10-4, yeah, we'll be back on uh, after I get some rest. And bleh, I'm seeing blurry right now, about 11 hours. Yeah, yeah I mean, that um, is, uh, started work at 7.45 last night, so I got to go to bed, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm dying over here. To be honest, I'm, I'm pretty much meant to cut down this call about 15 minutes ago. So uh, anybody that's chimed in, uh, if you want to hear this call again and hear what happened, uh, you can go to 559-726-1399 and press key code pound 9676 pound. You'll hear the last segment, and that segment will give you the segment prior and so on and so forth. Uh, this started approximately 48 hours ago at uh, 8 Central. Um, I'm losing track of time right now. I'm going to go ahead and shut this conversation down uh, for all you guys that are live broadcasting. I really appreciate what you're doing out there. And, uh, you know, keep spreading the word. We're going to continue this uh, tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, if you want to chime in early, that's cool. We'll have an open call for a while until it gets out of hand. Uh, we reached uh, about 400 people today and uh, only uh, uh, yesterday. So, yeah, I'm sorry, yesterday. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. Uh, 0610, did you want to close out with anything? I think you guys are going to be uh, one of the uh, last voices that everybody hears. No, man, just keep on rocking. We'll, we'll get you tonight, man. Take care. All right. Um, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and put this one out to you, man. Uh, I don't even mean to make a shameless plug right now, but uh, I used to work in security at a venue out here in the northwest suburbs of Chicago, and uh, there was a gentleman that uh, had showed up a few times, never really uh, ordered anything, didn't really have any money to, to do that. You know, he was uh, in a place where uh, he used to be a carpet layer and somebody took his van with all the mm -hmm. tools in it and uh, he found himself down and out. And uh, he's been actually living on the streets the last few years and, uh, you know, I've done what I can to, to uh, befriend this gentleman and uh, as time's passed, he's actually, uh, you know, we've gained each other's trust and he asked me if he could uh, store a few items here uh, at my residence so he can save some money. He was coughing up about 60 bucks a month um, for storage to keep uh, some of his uh, personal items that he didn't want to get rid of, uh, which I've now taken into my home. And uh, he actually brought over a guitar at one point. And uh, I asked him, you know, hey, do you play? And uh, one thing led to another, and uh, I've been jamming with this homeless fellow. <laughs> 
from the streets of Chicago uh, since the winter before last. And uh, I'm only doing this out of uh, respect for him. He's a singer, songwriter, and an author. Um, if anybody wants to kind of hear what this guy's got to say, um, he's put together a, a, a variety of different songs. He's got actually in total 40. Um, he's been coming over here. We got some recording software that put together. Uh, he's also put together. He doesn't beg for money. He actually has been selling his stories and uh, selling his music. Um, actually, he's been giving it away for contributions. So I'm just trying to give this guy a little bit of clout. Um, if anybody wants to jump on the SoundCloud, if you jump on the SoundCloud, he's got uh, four or five songs that have helped him post. Um, I very amateurly helped him remaster with the limited software that we do have. You know, everything comes professionally. It's not Kid Rock. Um, there's a lot of rock and a lot of soul and a lot of blues and uh, a lot of heart in this man's words. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and if anyone wants to hear, um, he actually wrote a song dedicated to me. Um, it's called Free the People, um, which is my mantra that I've been using for a few years now. It's uh, pretty much my, my be-all and all goal anyway. But uh, he, he made a really cool song, a little conspiracy theory-ish, but uh, it's got a very cool uh, tribal e type, Native American-y type feel to it. Um, and it really speaks about, you know, a lot of things that I've talked to him about. So he turned it into a song. So if it's on SoundCloud and type in all one word, free the people, um, that row should head up and, and you should see approximately four or five songs that we've somewhat mastered. Um, really entertaining stuff. He's really good at what he does. If anybody at the time and listen to some really cool jams, I just wanted to to close off with that. Um, again, got a, this guy's gained a lot of respect in my eyes. He's the uh, ultimate prepper the way I see it. You know, we're, we're sending guys out to go camp out when it's warm in a confined area, you know, where there's other people. This guy's been living in the railroad tracks in the tent, uh, weathering Illinois, which I, I, I assure yeah. you has been quite a tundra uh, in below freezing temperatures uh, most of uh, this winter. And, uh, I'm just kind of putting that out there. Um, you know, hopefully somebody uh, on the other end is listening and likes what they hear. This guy could really use a break. He's a really talented person, and uh, hopefully you like what you hear. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to check it out for sure. I, I hate to give a, a kind of – I feel like I just gave a shameless plug, but, uh, you know, this <laughs> guy that's definitely had an impact and, and an effect on my life. Um, you know, I, we both kind of reached out man, and, uh, you know, I found a friend for life, man, and, uh, right. you know, I, I, I call him Uncle Mike now, you know, he's part of my family, it's below temperatures, he can stay here, you know, my my, my wife's uh, been looking out for him, and, uh, you know, we've got some friends locally that are trying to look out for this guy, and, uh, you know, to see uh, how he's grown as a person, you know, from being an outcast to, uh, you know, being a, a lively, uh, you know, getting his sanity back, and, uh, you know, has people that are kind of willing to interact with them and let them know, hey, man, we hear what you're doing out there. We like what you're doing. Um, Maybe some more. You know, he could use a little bit of feedback out there. He's just, you know, somebody that I'm kind of trying to look out for, man, and hopefully, you know, any push or pull or, cl or, or cloud or whatever that I have, uh, you know, might, might help it, help this gentleman along. Um, you know, again, I'm just kind of throwing it out there. I don't mean to shamelessly plug, but uh, he's really talented, and I think some you, know, you guys will get a kick out of uh what he's trying to do out there. Um, yep, we're going to check him out for sure, man. Yeah, bro. Anything else you wanted to do uh, to chime in while I still got you on the line? No, brother. I'm out. You have a good night. Yeah, you too, man. Thanks for chiming in. And, uh, you know, good, good job on looking out for the sons out there, man. I'm sure they'll take the best care of you that they can. You know, just show, right, try to show up at a meet, meet and greet in the near future. You know, hunt down mm -hmm. your county and, uh, you know, welcome aboard, man. Sounds good, bud. We'll talk to you. You bet. Bye. Okay. Uh, I still got the window open, man, for a couple minutes. Uh, I'm still up. If anybody wants to chime in, go ahead and press uh, star six. I'll probably let another person chime in here for a minute while I do some things on my uh, cell phone. Anybody want to press star six and chime in? Hey, uh, Chicago, you're back on the line. Hang on a second. I'll get you going. Go ahead. What would you have to say there? Hey, man. 
Yeah, I'm 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 a musician too. Just so you know, we'll talk about that later. Uh, by the way, you you might want to consider um, having your friend make some money with his music on YouTube. Again, I'll talk I'll talk to you about that later. I wanted to let you know on the um, uh, on the YouTube stream of this call, um, there was a point where we reached 150 simultaneous views. Wow. Yeah. So uh, we've been we've been pulling in a lot of uh, YouTube attention, and um, I'm I'm happy to uh, to get that for you. Yeah, I actually uh, really appreciate that. Um, I actually just pulled up uh, on my laptop the site. So I'm going to actually go ahead and play that one song that I mentioned um, by Free the People. I, this is how I'm going to close out the call. So uh, Chicago, I definitely want to stay in touch with you, man. you got a lot of good things to offer, uh, a lot of things that I'm trying to do. It sounds like we're in line. Um, I've got some you know, things that I can offer uh, to meet some of the things that you already have. So uh, we'll be crossing awesome. paths in the near future. Yeah, add me as a friend on Facebook. We'll talk and I will see what we can do for each other. And we are semi-local to each other. Um, I don't drive, but maybe you do. But if you wanted to, to make the trek over to the northwest side of Chicago, maybe we could sit down, have some coffee, and whatever. I'll, I'll be honest, man. Uh, you're, you're pretty much my ground zero. I hate anything on that side of 294, but uh, we'll, we'll make plans to cross paths. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Um, We're recording on my end. Never stop. Yeah, good morning. All right, if you guys can hang on the line for one second. Uh, Chicago, if you want anything to say, I've got to give somebody a, a phone. Hang on one second. Go ahead and speak up if you like. Uh, sure, yeah. I'm, I was just saying, um, you know, I, I look forward to, uh, you know, talking to you and seeing uh, what else we could do. And um, it's been my pleasure to, to stream this out to uh, YouTube. Um, my channel's got like over 3,000 subscribers and over, you know, 3 million views and stuff like that. So, you know, the more people I can, you know, get to, uh, you know, listen to uh, these calls through uh, that avenue, I'm, you know, absolutely thrilled to uh, be able to do that for you. I totally appreciate that, man. Um, you are actually going to be the, ah, uh, geez, I got two more people chime in. I'm going to... I'm going to scoot you out of the lane here and uh, take a couple quick calls, all right? All right. Uh, if you don't close it down, people will chime in forever. I'm telling you. <laughs> You're getting popular. Uh, and, and I do see that. I actually had to phase out for about 15 minutes earlier, and it turned into utter chaos. So <laughs> instead of people screaming and getting frustrated, I'm just going to shut it down after I get a couple more people in real quick. And then uh, I wanted to play at least just this one song, and then I'm going to close it out. Man, I'm already in at 9 o'clock. I planned on being out at 7, but it's cool. Um <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next guy, if you don't mind, Chicago. Cool. Catch you later. Add me on Facebook. We'll talk later. Thanks, brother. You stay in touch. All right. Wireless uh, 1245. Uh, that, I can test me, Mississippi. Hey, what's going on, Mississippi? Man, tell me this is Drew. Yes, it is. Uh, I was just wondering last night. I was listening in for a couple hours, and uh, I'm about to end reservation. was accepting people in there. I just want to verify that. Uh, actually, please verify that right now to be to you, man. Uh, the tribal offices should be opening in a couple hours. Um, the best I can do is uh, offer the phone number again for that tribal office, which is 702-695-2790. I'm at hours. I would say in the words tribal office. Um, you know, catch what time they're going to be opening. Catch there. We'd really love to use them as a rally point sound safe, secure, and they're federally protected. And uh, there's nothing like yeah. knowing that there's 10,000 Indians with arms that are not going to let the federal uh, 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 du jour powers that be uh, encroach any further. So that, that's a really good potential rally point. As of right now, yeah. that's not confirmable, but uh, we are trying to set that up. Okay. And I'd uh, like a question follow-up. Uh, are you going to come back on air later tonight? or? Yeah, or you know, watch your time clock uh, approximately 11 hours from now at 8 o'clock Central uh, p.m. Okay. I'm going to do my best to get started up all over again and uh, do this for a third day in the row, man. I just got to catch some Z's, but I got I people understand. that keep wanting to That'd chime in. And, uh, central. Yeah, and, and I just, you know, want to let people get a chance to speak. Um, you know, it's no skin off my back. I'm going to lose a little sleep, but uh, these people are getting a chance to talk, man. Um, did I answer what you needed? 
Yes, sir. I appreciate you doing what you're doing, and uh, get you some rest, man. Yeah, I know, man. Uh, I keep getting told I that, you but uh, spoiled. I can tell you, you don't got tired. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of seeing double right now. The Mountain Dew's definitely worn up. I've been in a minute, and uh, uh, I'm yeah, I'm feeling a little groggy, man. It's all good. Easy, man. I appreciate the good words, man, and uh, good looking out, you know, and uh, you know, just keep spreading the word that we're here doing what we're doing, and uh, yeah, that's why I think that's going. I guess ten four, man. Yeah, hopefully we can find some resolution, and I'm not pissing too many people off. <laughs> but uh, all right. All right I'm, <laughs> thanks, man. Me. I'm gonna scoot scoot to the next guy. Uh, wireless caller sixteen oh nine. Wireless caller, hang on one second. Let me unmute you. Go ahead. Yeah, can uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I got you, bro. Okay, hey, I was just wondering, has anybody uh, got a hold of the Cattlemen's Association? Maybe to turn them onto that uh, uh, auction barn down there. You know, the Cattlemen Association always goes at the cattle thieves, and that seems what like what's happened out there. This BLM has turned into cattle thieves. They're trying to sell it at auction, and they can usually stop that. Hey, did you uh, get a chance to catch the uh, Euclid Stockyards information? Yeah, I did. I got that wrote down. And, and but what I was wondering is if it, I know I'm from Texas, and I know we got a Cattlemen's Association there. And I'm almost yeah. sure Nevada's got a Cattlemen's Association also. And if the uh, Nevada Cattlemen's Association would be willing to, you know, to get into it, then that would be a good way to stop the sale of those cattle. You know, those, there's there's no better place or no better time than now, sir. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, you speak the language and, uh, you know, you would know, you know, the kind of people that you need to get hold of if you want to take that upon yourself and, you uh, do what you got to do to rub some elbows with the right people in your uh, currently active associates. Uh, we wouldn't mind somebody actually doing that. Um, you know, it makes sense to me on my end. Uh, you know, I can't speak for everybody, but if you want to maybe uh, take it upon yourself to, to try to use your resources to, you know, get the right people doing the right thing, uh, I'm all for it. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll try to get a hold of, I'll try to see what I can do about getting a hold of the Nevada Cattlemen Association. Uh, I've got a lot of friends that are ranchers there in Texas, and uh, if I can't, you know, if I can't get a hold of the Nevada Association directly, I'll see if they can't get a hold of uh, the Cattlemen Association Texas and get them on it. Well, it sounds like my kind of guy that gets things done, man. If you can, uh, you know, get in there and make something happen and report back, we'd be body up to see you. All right, man. Well, listen, I just got on here. I've been listening to y'all for about an hour. I've been trying to follow this on YouTube every day because I think it's I think it's BS. Uh but, you know, I'm at work right now and I can't I can't get away because if I left work I would be hurting my family. But I'll do whatever I, I understand can. man. Don't put yourself at risk, don't put yourself out, man. You know, if uh you get some time to chime back in uh in about eleven hours, uh we're gonna go full blast again. But uh we're it's kinda of dying down right now where I got about thirty five people on the call, thirty six is what I'm showing. Yeah, and uh yeah, it's kind of dying down, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and let the next person in line talk. If you wanted to add anything else, go ahead. Man. No, if anybody else out there is a member of the Cattlemen's Association, I would appreciate maybe if they get in touch with them also. Because the more voices uh, we got in on this, the better. Go ahead and give your email out live, bro, if, if you're willing yeah. to take uh, some extra spam that might show up. Yeah, my uh, my email is Richard J. Nolan, all one word, N-O-L-I-N, at yahoo.com. And uh, we need to get a hold of these cattlemen's associations and see if they can't get on that because they're basically uh, they're stolen cows and they're trying to sell stolen stock. And, uh, well, yeah, we heard a uh, few of them have been uh, uh, slaughtered as well, and they're just kind of putting dirt on top of them. So, yeah, well, uh, it's, you know, a, it's against the law in my state for somebody to kill your animals. You know, all right, well... So, it sounds like yeah, you're pretty well educated in that field, man. I, I trust and hope that uh, you can put your best foot forward and try to get, you know, some people in command of that structure and, uh, you know, get, get get through to them and let them know what's going on, man, and uh, get them in touch with that Euclid Stockyards. And maybe it's time to kind of bring down some doors, uh, you know, peacefully, of course, but maybe we need some of the appropriate, you know, appropriate authorities uh, questioning these guys' intentions as well. Sure. All right, thanks, man. Get to sleep. All right, thanks, bro. I got uh, another person uh, waiting to talk.
I'm going to move on, and I appreciate you calling in, but uh, yeah. one, four, five, three, you're a go. Hi, Brian. I've been on uh, to, <laughs> God, since 12 o'clock. Uh, my name is Cosmic Mom. I'm from from Facebook. Uh, Dave Kessel is the one that, did, that started the YouTube streaming, and I just want to say God bless you all. So much. I am just posting in every single group, and I'm in, involved with about 60 to 70 groups with as much information as to who to call, what it is uh, Stuart had put, what he expects, um, what to do, you know, just the basics. Sweetheart, I hope I'm your last call. Go to bed. We'll talk to you at 8 o'clock tonight, 9 o'clock my time. I'm calling from Miami, Florida. I appreciate that, Miami, your sweetheart, man. My, uh, oh, my mom and my, six, the my way, mom and my six an sisters all think. Message. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, my mom and so my six sisters all thanking you for saying that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take your advice. I was gonna uh, actually play the one song that I had mentioned earlier, I and then I'm just would. gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the hey. Uh, this is gonna okay. come in very stereo. Uh, this is gonna come in via a mono speaker on my laptop down to my phone, but uh. If you actually okay. go to soundcloud.com, soundcloud.com forward slash Brian with a Y, uh, and there's a uh, hyphen, free the people. I got you. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, I'll be the guy to pop up. Did you get a chance to hear that song I mentioned yet? Uh, no, not yet, because I've been too busy being nosy, listening to everybody else. I'm burnt out. I'm laying in bed. I can't type anymore. <laughs> I just, But I did send you an inbox. I tried to bring uh, in that. Well, damn, that was stupid because the poor guy's already got overloaded. But I did inbox what's your first, you. What's your first name, ma'am? How do you prefer to okay. be addressed? Hey, call me anything. Just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe mom. your uh, online persona had mama in it. What was it? Cosmic Mom. Well, Cosmic Mom, uh, I'm going to go no, ahead and uh, adopt you. Mom. Everybody knows Cosmic Mom. I may not uh, be able to physically do much before the, in the name of Jesus. I can run my mouth, and I am a military brat. My whole family is military and police. Awesome. My one hand is a 38 and the other. <laughs> <laughs> I like you already. If you want to get some of that family on board in about 11 hours, we'd be mighty thankful. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, you know I'm going to be on there at 8 o'clock. I got rest. I haven't been to sleep either. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, so I'm going to have a pot of coffee waiting for me when I get back up here in a wee bit. Oh, honey, but, uh, I can't drink no more coffee. I've been drinking coffee all night and smoking cigarettes every four hours. Go out. i got to take a break. got to go pray. No, I, go I, pray. I, I've been trying to quit, but I went through over a pack since I've been here. So uh, I'm not advocating even... smoking. I'm da damaging no. myself here, but it's helping me keep my hey, sanity. It's Trust understandable. Me. Hey, that tobacco, <laughs> it, it, it blocks that fluoride that's calcifying your pineal gland. <laughs> <laughs> God no, bless I'll, you, I'll darling, try to... and we'll talk to you at 8 o'clock, and I'm waiting to hear the song. <laughs> All right. Uh, again, it's going to come in mono. It's going to come in mono, and it's only... Lord. <laughs> yeah. All right. I love your I love your energy, okay, Cosmic Mom. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah! And pass me the ammo. <laughs> yeah. You divine, go ahead. And, divine love rules. <laughs> you, you go ahead and chime in uh, in about eleven hours. I'd love to hear from you and uh, let me know how you're doing. Okay. I will torture you then. God bless you. May <laughs> your carpets be dreams Don't forget to say your prayers and praises and heavenly Father in the company of heaven. Make this be peaceful. No bloodshed. Enough bloodshed. But the feds are going to find out. We, the people, own you, and you. And enough is enough. I Bottom like how line. you think, ma'am. You, you keep up that spirit and keep spreading the word, okay? I'm a nasty Gary. Born on Easter. Let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's hear the um, song, and you get some sleep, Precious, and at 8 o'clock, we'll hear from you tonight, and I will be calling back, and I awesome. will be I posting long before then. All right. And, uh, all right, I'm going to wrap this up. It's uh, 9.07 a.m. Central Standard Time. We'll be back uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm just going to wrap this up with this cool song that, like I said, my buddy uh, on the streets of Chicago had. It's uh, got a little blues in it, but uh, hopefully you guys get a kick out of it. Um, you can go to soundcloud.com forward slash Brian with a Y hyphen free the people and then my last name. But, uh, 